Halloween in Stardew Valley isn't always the scariest. So if you're a big Halloween fan like me, you may be looking to make the game a little more haunting. That's why today, we're going to be playing through the best Halloween mods for Stardew Valley so you can turn the farm of your dreams into one of nightmares. As you can see, the farmer looks a, uh, looks a little looks a little bit different than usual. And that's because the first mod we have today is called Fall Creatures. And the entire mod turns your villager into a 1970s slasher film monster. There's a wolf skin if you want to look like a werewolf. There's the pig skin, which I think this is meant to be the pig skin, but she kind of just ends up looking like a vampire. It's like a sexy Nosferatu. You can be the pumpkin king. You can even be a squid person if you want to be really, you know, HP Lovecraftian with it. But this mod really makes you feel like you're a 1970s slasher film character come to life in Stardew Valley. And if you step out into the world, if you know your Stardew mats well, you'll recognize that this is not a usual farm because the other mod that we have on top of this is called the Meadow Farm mod. It's a, it's a completely new farm that you can do. It adds new areas to your little farm world. So you've got like a, an adorable, very, very cute fountain. You've got a park bench. Look how cute this is. It's such an adorable little mod, but you might be asking Nino, this doesn't seem very Halloween-y. That's because wait till we turn it to fall. You enter a new Stardew Valley and you step out into your cute little meadow farm. And you're welcome to Marnie. Marnie welcomes you, apparently. That was not, I didn't, I didn't realize Marnie was gonna meow. That <laughs> little ghost cat is so cute. Will you adopt this cat? If it's like a spirit, I don't think we can get rid of it without like an exorcism, right? I didn't quite realize how horrifying it makes the world. Look at that tree. It looks like something out of Nightmare Before Christmas. A blood fountain. Wait, has it changed the fountain to blood? Damn, they added a Kool-Aid fountain in here. Wait, so what are the skulls? These must be rocks, right? It is stone. <laughs> hey, Krobus, you just chilling on the farm with me? Oh no, what happened to the skeleton man? Wait, there's so many of them. How many people have been killed on my farm? This one's like falling apart. That's a whole ass noose. You should come down to the beach for some time. I've got something for you, Willy. I think Willy's gonna drag me down there to, to fucking put a wooden stake through my heart. All the paintings are way different. Oh my God, everything's fucked up. I think this Halloween feeling mod is definitely the most important. None of the other mods really have the complete feel unless you have this mod. Oh look, there's people on the bus. It's a ghost bus. Hey, you guys noticed that the river's looking a little red lately? You showed up at the perfect time. We've just sacrificed Sam to the, to the blood gods and now his blood runs down the river. Evelyn's like, this is where we sacrifice Sam. We pulled his heart out right on this hay bale. And for all the kitties, they used his intestines as jumping rope. Oh, it was a lovely community time. Good morning, dear. I can feel death knocking on my door. So I've come to say my goodbyes. I haven't seen this old farm in a long time. A lot more skeletons hanging from trees than I remember. It looks even better than I remember. Oh, Evelyn, you, you twisted old lady. Hey, I brought you a little something. It's the head of George. This is what the community center looks like when it's finished. This is so ominous. Everything's still broken. They're like, wow, it's completely finished. The dead fish, the scratch marks on the walls. Oh, look at, wow. Just perfect for the kids to run around in, really. Oh, don't you just love bathing in the blood of your victims? What has Abigail got in her locker if it stinks? And this, I guess you could say it's like a, a rotting corpse or something, but this is a base game quote. Is Abigail disgusting? 
Does the desert look any different? Ah, it does. A lot more bones. You can still get coconuts though. Coconuts are actually just scary as is. If you're wanting a well-rounded, scary Stardew experience, then these three mods are an absolute must because they turn the game into an atmospheric nightmare. And if you're a Halloween fan, it's perfect. Should we go into the next mod? You might be going, Nino, this, this looks fantastic. It's really got me into the holiday spirit. What if I want a little bit in the villages? The villages seem a little bit out of place. Well, what if they were all monsters? This is the Monster Valley mod. This mod just changes all of the villages into monsters. Pierre, what, what are you like? A, what are you? He just looks like he just looks like a scaly man. He doesn't even look. look at, he doesn't look like a monster. He just looks like a scaly. Do you think Abigail will be a succubus? Carolyn doesn't have a head. Or oh, no, she actually just has bangs. They just gave Carolyn bangs. Please, Abigail. What? 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 Is, were you just a pirate? That she's just a. She's just got a different hairstyle. She's just more goth. Wait, Jess, Jess, come here. They didn't even change the children because they're already terrifying enough. I think Jess has a tail. Is that a tail? Haley just has a bad tan. That's Haley's thing is they just gave her a bad tan. Whoa, <laughs> it's too cold to go to the beach anymore. Uh, Haley, it's, it's heating up around you. I won't lie. The other child. Dad's coming back. Oh my God, look at those eyes. Ooh, you know when the Sims, when your character gets abducted and then gets pregnant with an alien? That's what ja uh, Vincent looks like. Penny, what's going on with you, love? This one's actually this one's actually pretty good. This is such a small town. You can't avoid meeting everyone. Apparently this mod actually makes her sound like her mother. Jody? Hi, this one is scary. Jody has turned into death herself. Oh my god, they turned Emily into the blueberry girl from Willy Wonka. Is there a chalk outline in town center? They've sacrificed Sam. Sam's dead. And this is where they killed him. Oh, Leah. Whoa. Leah's like a an forest nymph. This is the coolest one yet. Wait, Sebastian is hanging out here with Sam's corpse. What does Seb look like? Oh no. They just made Seb more sexy. Why couldn't they do this to Abigail? I was this close to moping in bed the entire day. Kind of wish I had now. I don't even care about the other villagers. Sim just looks sick. Hi, Elliot. Oh, he's a mermaid. I've got a special power. Elliot's like, Cleo, no. Watch out for the water, Cleo. Gus, we've got to go see Gus and Shane. <laughs> he's a fucking cow. <laughs> they just turned him into a fucking cow. I mean, look, minotaurs are cool. They're cool, but it just kind of makes him look like he's a cow. What are you bothering me? I want to be alone. What a shame. Werewolf vampire person. Oh, oh, I'm Shane. I've never had Kool-Aid. Just think of like, oh, Maru is to another good week. She looks like a character from Coraline. Is Demetrius a Cyclops? No, he's also like a Sally Coraline character. Cool design. I actually really like these. I think I gotta get the Robin marriage mod. There he is, there he is. Linus, he's like a we He. I think he's a were person. Yeti, isn't he? Oh, this isn't a werewolf. He's like a Yeti person, right? Okay, Krobus, have you changed him? Oh, that is actually horrifying. Wow. That is so much scarier than the original Krobus designed. Hello, Alex. Oh, Alex is an orc. In my opinion, I usually think Alex is pretty sexy. Uh, mm, this one, not as much. Sebi's kind of won you out there, boy. Sweetie, won't you buy something? Older woman calling me sweetie? She's the genie from Aladdin. Oh my God. She's Will Smith. This camel scares the shit out of me. Let's get out of here. Harvey, are you gonna be in your room? Oh, he is. What is he listening to music? Oh, he's a goat man. He's Grover. He's like the devil or something. I think that's pretty cute. Whenever there's a patient in Harvey's medical facility, he lays them on the bed and then just eats them alive. And that's why the bed is covered in blood. I think now let's move on to the final thing. Because at this point, you might be going, wow, this is all nice, but what if I want a storyline? 
What if I want a whole new villager? That's gonna be our next mod. You walk into the forest and hear an unusual sound, a scream of a woman. He told me he loved me, a monster he was. The clock struck 8.40, 8.40, he ran away. Who ran away? This is the abandoned bride mod that gives you a whole new villager. Why are there so many clocks? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, why are there so many clocks? Really struggle to tell the time that badly? To get ready for the wedding. My wedding. My love is waiting. He is waiting for me. Oh, what a miserable day. What a wonderful day. I need to be the perfect wife so that 8.40 will pass. Hee <laughs> hee. Why is it still 8.40? 8.40. I feel like we need to remember 8.40. No. No, this can't be true. No! The abandoned bride screamed in a screeching sound. It almost looked like she was in physical pain. Where am I? Why am I here? There's a door here. I mean, I assume this, she lives in a cave. Is this blood prints? Where does it lead to? Comes out of the clock, goes to the couch, and goes to the bed. Oh, is that her in the bed? Abandoned bride looks frightened to see you. Why has she got so many clocks? The clock has stopped at 8.40. It's a calendar. <laughs> it's a calendar. It says spring 1805. She gives me like Haley vibes. So I'm going to try to give her a daffodil. Hee <laughs> hee, you are so kind. He's in. Oh my God, Lewis is a pumpkin man. You've done Paracut Town a great service, Witchy. I don't like you. Oh, oh, oh. Abandoned Bride is unaware of your presence. You can easily tell she's been crying for hours. Lonely little girl, dressed in white, dyed in blue. I am so alone, I can fix her. Lost in time, abandoned by the world. There is no life, there is no death. I only drown. Drown in blood. Is it Sam's blood that's going through the town river? Near the end of 1804, snow found on the plains. A time of pain began. A war declared by Spain, and I declared by men. Wait, Spain? <laughs> okay, so in case anyone's wondering, Spain is now canon in the Stardew universe. Destined to be defeated, being a young, naive girl, I was hopeful. Spring. Oh, what a perfect season for a girl to be freshly picked from the garden of youth. What does she mean by that? Men here and there. Monsters here and there. Monsters. My monster. I am. No, I need you. I need you. I don't care if monster or not. I need you. I don't want to be alone anymore. I mean, I'm a monster too. Her fading yellow eyes caught you. I need you. Why are you keep on calling yourself a monster? I'm here for you. I like these two. Second one, third, <laughs> second one. Abandoned bride's eyes grew bigger. She stares at you in awe. Let me wake up from this cursed dream right now. Oh, she's running. She's gonna run to the clock again. She's back at the clock. It's still gonna say 8.40. I hate to disappoint you. Almost there, almost there. Work, of course. What am I thinking? Hee <laughs> hee. I am alone. Hee hee. Hee 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 hee. Hee 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 hee. Okay, okay. Hee hee hee. Hee 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 hee. Hee 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 hee. Hee 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 hee. Oh my fucking god. Hee 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 hee. Hee 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 hee. He. Stuck here. Right now. Right here. In my very nightmare. Ben and Bride laughed hysteri hyster hysterically for a long time while you saw the deep loneliness in her eyes. What are we meant to do? Abandoned Bride is awake, but it doesn't look like she'll get up anytime soon. It seems like she's been crying overnight. I... I forgot what we're meant to do. Oh, oh she's moving, she's moving! Heads and toes and knees and his head is gone. Wait, 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 wait. What? I think she murdered him, but why? If she was looking forward to getting married, why would she have murdered him? Oh, depressed bride lady, we're coming to fix your heart. Blood in my hands. She's having a nightmare. She totally killed her husband. We wait till 8.40. 
You sense an odd atmosphere as you walk into the house. Something is not right. Bl blood. You gotta lose something on your. You gotta lose something on, on your, your face. Hello. Welcome to the wedding. Please take a seat. The wedding will start soon. The beautiful and bruised bride has been brought by her father. She must stay beautiful. So the great groom will be happy, and her poor father will be happy. It is raining outside. Oh, poor girl. Poor girl. She tried her best, but 8.40 hit the clock, and the groom ran away. Why? Poor father, poor father. He is a madman. He tried to sell his daughter off at a good price, but no. He got rejected. She got returned. Oh, what a poor man he is. What a broken man he is. Beat her. Beat her again. Kill her. Killed her mother. <laughs> what? What? Why are you smiling? Why are you kind of smiling? I don't like that. I run and chase the rabbit down. Down. And look at her now. She's locked up. Run and catch me if you can. From the grave. From the grave. He will catch me if he can. With my mommy in his hand. Band and Bride is staring at you. Half smiling. Half crying. I think I killed a man. I don't know what to say. Tell me your story. You see a teardrop falling down her face. The wedding is over. You may be dismissed. What the fuck? It is raining. Hehe. <laughs> it rained that morning too. But blood. Blood dripped in place of the rain. Oh my god, it's so funny you say that because we actually have the fifth mod for today. The rain blood mod, which turns every time it rains in Stardew Valley, it rains blood. Oh, this is the next one straight away. Okay, more story, baby. More lore. You see a abandoned bride in front of the wheel. You never saw her using it before. She seems to be in a better mood than other days. It's not as red. I was just- Oh, she's not covered in blood anymore! She had a shower! <laughs> it's a secret. Hee <laughs> hee. I will let you know when it's time. Nightmares come and go. Now I learn to wish upon the sky every night to not leave me alone. And I cry and beg till dawn. You saw me during the worst times. But don't think I am a monster. Maybe I, I can finally forgive him and even forgive myself. What? The room glowed with a bright light, but soon faded away. Almost as if something is not fulfilled yet. What? What was that? What, do, what does the clock say? What is the time? Probably 8.40. The clock is still stopped at 8.40. You gotta put more batteries in these things. What? Why? I thought I was finally free. It was your imagination. You crazy, remember? You just, you just crazy. You need to be prepared to face the world. It's okay. Just cry. Everything will get better. I think it's okay to cry. It's okay, just cry. Uh oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, she's mad at us. Easy to say, you don't understand me at all. Oh, this is only my second day of knowing you, so that's kind of true. Okay, it's okay. I need to get ready to finally fight off this cursed wedding date. She's gonna kill us. I'm sorry, talk to me, bride, I'm sorry. Oh, we're gonna so marry this, this little, this depressed little bride. Dear witchy, we've come a long way together. I cannot explain how grateful I am for you. 
I want to invite you to a talk at Saloon. Please come at 10 p.m. I have something important to tell you. I will explain it all to you for now. From Aurelia. Aurelia! That's a pretty cool name. Maybe we can fix her. My, she's in a red dress. Oh, she's so cute. Hello, my dear friend, witchy friend. Sorry for asking you to come see me so late. Wait, so is she a ghost or not? Is she a ghost? I really thought she was a ghost this whole time. You looked pretty surprised. That's actually not that bad to see. Do you like my new hair? My new outfit? This was my secret project. I've been working on my on making new clothes for myself. Sweet. Don't you think? The dress is the same color of the blood as your vict of your victims. It's nothing fantastic. As I had to work with what I had in my the house. Now, I was finally ready. I called you to tell me, tell you my story. It's going to be a long one if you don't mind. My name is Aurelia Stella Havisham. Havisham. Spring forth. It was a rainy Monday. Father was a failed businessman. He was in desperate for money. He was already abusive and alcoholic at the same time. What do you think happens if we go back to spring four? Basically spent me off to a marriage for money. I was rejected, however, on the very wedding day. It was 8.40 a.m. I was terrified, rather than embarrassed. Father was still a prideful man. He could not withstand the humiliation disappointment she's lying spring forth isn't a monday <gasps> still don't know why the groom refused to marry me anyway he poured his anger all out on me he beat me close to death and it was only close because my mother aurelia struggles to push back your tears you kindly wait for her to calm down my lovely meek mother threw herself over me that was the one brave thing that I saw her do in my entire life. She died for me. Father hit her in the head. And she was gone in front of my eyes just like that. I have gone insane at that point. I still don't know how he even held it up. You can just like, Gus is just like behind the counter, like listening to all of this. Like, I'm going to tell Lewis there's a murder in our town. And ran away as far as I could. I got down to the forest here and saw a very intelligent rabbit, but then something mysterious and magical happened. You're probably not going to believe me. So at the end, I got stuck in time. Seemingly forever. Until today. So you're a ghost? That was a long story. I hope it wasn't too boring. Aurelia laughs awkwardly. <laughs> it took me some courage to tell you. That was a waste of my damn time, Aurelia. Well, thanks for listening. It was unbearable to stay sane before, but you helped me to face the reality. I will now live to change life. You'll see. Here, I got you a drink. Take some. Do not, do not take this drink. I kind of, she has just admitted murder to you. Do not take this drink. That was really dumb. Wait, everything's changed. Oh, this is so cute. She's not here. Where is she? The clock is ticking. Guys, we did it. We managed to fix the murderer. And you go in town finally. You weirdo. A new girl came to town. That's cool. I should, oh my God, I'm, what? Oh my God, um, they're talking about Aurelia? Oh my God, are they not talking about me? They're talking, wait, they're talking about Aurelia? New girl, probably should go and say hi to, what the fuck, they're talking about Aurelia. I just thought Sam was being creepy to me. Oh, there she is. Evelyn made me a pumpkin suit last night. It was the greatest thing I have ever tasted in my life. Hey, do you want to be my, my girlfriend? I'll accept this, thank you. Let's go! We got the sexy ghost girl! Oh, here we go! Hello, witchy. I didn't expect you here. I was just looking at the stars. Maru lets me come over here once in a while. Are we gonna smooch? The nights used to scare me so much. When the dark fell upon me, I couldn't handle it. But now, I have learned to wish upon the stars. Something that brightens up the night. So beautiful. Thank you, witchy. You are the brightest star in the sky. Witchy, it's a shooting star. 
I didn't see one. Did you guys see one? I wished for us to be happy forever. Aurelia, what you doing to my heart, girl? Are you happy with me? Aurelia, you're my shining star too. Well, that's sweet of you. I actually just took what you said and used it on you, so I guess it's sweet of you. Anyway, it was nice to watch the night sky with you. Where was the kiss? All right, I guess we'll get married. We're gonna get married on spring 4th. Oh, look, it's all just really cute now. Hey, queen. I wonder what it would be like to have a nice, warm, normal family. Even the thought of me made me scared before, but now it seems nice. Uh, I wanna start a family with you. I'll set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in three days. Let's do it, spring 4th, baby, which is uh, not a Monday. Oh, 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 the kitty cat. Okay, so this is another mod that I installed, but I didn't think it was it would work. It's called cat costumes, and it puts the cats in adorable costumes. So my kitty's come back alive, and he's a little wizard. Oh, there we are. Look, ghost girlfriend and vampire girlfriend. You may kiss. Wow, we kissed. Oh, here we go. Her 14 heart, heart star. Witchy, you found me. I was reading a book. As always, she's a bookworm. She's like Penny. Okay, I was just scribbling something. Maybe a poem? She's gonna be a po she's gonna read me a poem? As I was reading, I wanted to try writing something too. Did you want to hear it? It's a poem about my face. Wait, no, fuck. It's a poem about you. Great, here it goes. Don't tease. There is no light in the room. There is no wonder. There is nothing but wet night raining upon me. Then a stream of stars knocked on the door. Who is it? I ask. Stranger. That was who you are. A good, good stranger. You lighten up the dim dark. The dim dome dark. You are the brightest star in the night sky. Ah! She's like better than 99% of Stardew villagers. Aurelia seems to be in deep thought, remembering her old days. Do you like it? My dream has finally come true. I hope you appreciate what I worked on. Elliot said that a mail will come soon for payment. Let's fucking go. She's getting that bank. See you later, witchy. Gunther, are you a robot? Oh, you're a mummy. This is even like you did in donate. Gunther's a mummy. Okay, well, that's... Happy Halloween, everyone. Thank uh you. -huh.